hi friends this is a uh, rphchallenge.com so here you can see just i created one robot so this is a robot uh, so you can go to the flow chart uh, here you have a excel open so you have to download the excel from here the excel looks like a excel has uh, some data it's like this first name last name company name these things and all so you have to fill all the details in this uh, fields let's start the challenge start the challenge and i am running the my robot so now it is filling the details it will fill the details So it is filling the first name, last name, address, email ID, role in company, company name, phone number, and then it will click on the submit. It will create, it will give the new form. So you can observe this round number one, two, like that. So each round we have a one form we have to fill. So this is not a normal form. So every time the form is coming, it is randomly it is changing the ID and name of that control, the text box. So that's why these people they said RPH challenge. It's a difficult to find that control in the selector. Okay. So if you do normally by using the UA path uh, that type info activity, so when you run the next form, next round, it won't work because it will pick only the ID and name. But ID and name is are continuously changing and the uh, and the index is also changing. See, now in this round four, phone number is a first place. But if you could see the round five, email is the first place. So these fields and all randomly it will change in each round. So if you take a index, index always change. Index number one, email comes in the round five. Next round, maybe now now round six. You can see where is the email ID. Email ID is a another place. The index is a different. So you can't take the index in the selector. So if you take the name of that text box control, that name is also, that is a random number, name, it will come. That name is continuously keep on changing. If you take the ID of that control text box, that ID is also changing. So it's a too difficult to take the, uh, that mean, uh, take the control select, selector of that text box and type the values. What I did, I just select that label I select that label. Can you observe the, uh, uh, that my cursor? That cursor is uh, selecting that label and click the tab button. So if you click the tab button, it will go to the, that corresponding text box. So first what I did, I used the find activity, find element activity. That find element activity, it will find the first name or last name that labels it will, labels names will, will not change labels text will not change right so it will find the text um, uh, based on the text it will find the label name and it will click on that text that label and then it will click send the send there, there is a send hot keys send keys as a tab then it will select to that corresponding text box then you can type type info use the type info activity you can type information see congratulations successfully you can see congratulations successfully success rate is a hundred percent 70 out of 70 fields in this much milliseconds congratulations so i will explain the code here here is a excess scope activity i just dragged that uh, i mean loaded that excel activity there is a read range so you will find the data table here. It will give the all the, uh, the I mean data from the Excel to the data table. So the, I use the for each loop, for each row loop, each row, 
it will go to the body it has a find the data row here's a column name is a data row and store it to the someone variable I created the first variable in e for each loop like that last name company name for everything I get the values from the row from the data table and store into the corresponding variable and then for each 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 one I use the one sequence for each uh, field let's go to that sequence here is the assignment operator I use to assign this first name this is the first name activity first name and here is the we use the selector as a element that variable name so in this variable it will assign this uh, text as a see this is a label so there is no dynamically changing things or not see here there is a label the label name is a first name like that after that I just click on that uh, label click on that label so see here find element it is finding element for that uh, tag if it finds it will store into the is found variable that is a UI element once this click given I pass the element is a is found so after that there is a send hotkeys I just pass the tab hotkey and there is a type info information I just type the in first name dot boost like that you can see all the things company name last name at the end of that for each loop before closing the for each loop so there is a sub submit button okay it will submit and it will go to the next row and next form okay before going to start that you just click on the start after creating the your robot you just click on the start and execute your robot thanks for watching please subscribe my channel you are a part of the learner